It's Nay. And welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome if you're new here. Hi, I'm Nay. And here we talk about all things looking good, feeling good, and smelling good. So if any of that interests you, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And today's video is another video along the five fragrance series that I have started. It is on a playlist. I will try my best to remember to link that down in the description box below. If I forget, just remind me because uh, I'm just, it's starting to have a few videos in there now. And essentially the series is just about five fragrances I would recommend to you for dot 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 some specific type of uh, occasion situation so on and so forth this is just for fun giggles um because i cannot recommend a lot of fragrances but i just went with five uh so today's specific five fragrance series video is about five fragrances i would recommend to you for bedtime now i know some of y'all over there like who on earth is wearing fragrances today bed I am <laughs> not off not all the time but I definitely wear some fragrances to my bed and I know there's some people that always wear a fragrance to their bed so these are five and this is kind of going around more like the springtime because it's warmer okay some people might not actually have AC in yet some people may have that AC on so yeah let's get started mm, I'm gonna actually say this is more affordable, this grouping, than not. Because sometimes I feel like, oh my gosh, why did I choose these fragrances? You know what I mean? Because the price is price and I look hard. Um, the first one is one I feel like a lot of people, if you know fragrances, as in the fragrance community on YouTube, you've probably heard of this. This is Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. Mm. And this is a very lovely scent. This is the musky, this is the clean, there's something mysterious about this. Now, whether you go to the bed by yourself or you have someone sleeping in bed with you, these all work for different purposes. I was also trying to think of different purposes of when you're going to bed right this is just very almost upscale and it's a very affordable scent uh but it just smells more expensive it does reminisce remind me of um narciso rodriguez's for her i'm not sure if it's eau de toilette or the eau de parfum but one of them it reminds me of it's that perfect musky scent but there's other, something else in there that I could not tell you, even with all the fragrances I've been smelling for the past year and a half. Sit there and be like, this is what it smells like. No, it just smells mysterious. It smells a little sexy. It smells musky. It smells, but not musky, not a dirty sense. Musky in that natural aroma of that your body creates naturally. It smells really good. It doesn't do anything too much. It's not edible smelling. It's not um smoky or boozy or doing too much okay you do get a little bit of a projection but it's not the scent that it's giving off is not too much in the essence that it's how can i make this make sense so it gives a projection but the smell it's projecting is nothing that's going to supremely disturb the room right so if your partner is like i don't want to go to bed and smell super strong smell which then something like lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker is going to work or they don't want anything too achingly sweet or oh, you don't want anything too achingly sweet. This is so sexy, but it's not sexy, inappropriate, like raunchy or gaudy and all of that stuff because it's a time and a place for that. It is just sexy and that just, I smell good. I smell almost like a, mm, that's how you smell? Must be nice because my B.O. smell crazy. <laughs> you know what i mean so that's lovely by sarah jessica parker and it is very affordable um you can get it online the next one let's go switch back and forth right so let's go a little bit more of an expensive one but not that expensive this is poison girl by dior the eau de toilette y'all this smells so good something i did not take into consideration when choosing these is longevity because you're going to your bed 
okay as long as you get a nice two hours so i don't really think i mean you just go to bed okay <laughs> this smells so good the opening is brighter got a little more punch to her the dry down is soft this is a very bright orangey opening Sometimes I almost feel like I get licorice without nasty licorice, good licorice. And then it dries down to this sexy, intimate encounter smell. It's almost like, um, you know, poison, uh, hypnotic poison by Dior, same, whatever. Or it's just that almost like play doughy type of, of, of delicious smell. This is softer version of it, lighter version of it, so it doesn't really hit hard in that play doh aspect. It's, oh my gosh, right now I'm just smelling that orangey, almost slightly licorice smell, and it just smells good. It definitely leans on the, like, mmm, delicious side, but it's also like, ooh, attractive type of side. This is just, I want to be sex in the city type of attractive. I mean, lovely, but such as Parker is also giving sex in the city type of, honestly, you can rock anything and call it sex in the city type of attractive, you know what I mean? I'm just saying. Um, but I do feel like, this is just like a like a put your nose on me and smell me Be like mm. it's just a warm the the dry down is just a warm smell that's kind of yummy okay it's it doesn't last super long but it's a nice smell and the pricing for this isn't actually that wild not decanting it and respraying yourself to re-experience it i like the journey that this goes through so if you get out the shower and then you spray this you gotta brush your teeth maybe wrap your hair maybe give your kids their final go to your bed kiss night maybe finish cleaning up and stuff you're going through a journey or you could just go to your bed and if you spray this on your actual night clothes you might get with slight slight hints of whiffs of this in the morning that just kind of depends on the warmth that your body creates while you're sleeping Yo, I'm eating the cigs. Or ciggies. Um, Non-fat yogurt uh, in vanilla. It's so good. It is 18 grams of protein, 11 grams of sugar, which I understand. That's not like a low amount. It's 12% of your daily recommended uh, sugar for the day or whatever. But that's not that bad, especially with what I could be eating like donuts or whatever um and it's three quarters of a cup of this stuff is considered a serving so this huge thing is four servings which i don't think is is bad because i feel like i i'm not even sure if i eat a full serving by the time i'm full because then i just throw in some i mean i'm gonna i intend to finish this today which is why i put it in there into the actual tub instead of i putting the spoon back in the tub instead of just putting it into a bowl but I went in with the kind healthy grains made with five super green cinnamon oat granola with flax seeds, which is high in fiber. And a third cup of this, which doesn't sound like a lot if you're eating this with milk, because it's not, because that's considered a snack. And then two thirds cup is considered a bowl. Um, I, I definitely didn't add more than a third of a cup into this that's eight percent grams of sugar added hella fiber a few carbs like this is just so good it tastes really good cinnamon is also like a natural um help with like boosting what's it called it boosts your ability to be able to process sugars and stuff a little bit naturally so i love it i think it tastes good it's still giving me the crunch still giving me the carbs to fill me up the protein to really help on you know your girl's doing that thing because yes we want to look good and we want to smell good but we also want to feel good and be healthy right so nothing's wrong with snacking feel free to snack snack on things that are going to fill you and be somewhat tasty but also be healthy this is good anyway sorry for that little pod But Poison Girl is that girl. That girl. Because of the opening, I don't know if I would really reach for this per se in like the cold weather, which is why I'm offering it up in springtime. It's a little cool, but it also warms up. Mm. The opening and then the dry. Mm, perfection. Poison Girl Eau de Toilette by Dior. 
The next is an affordable one. This is Still by Jennifer Lopez. Y'all, this is... I like this a lot. It gets a lot of hype, so I, I think it gets the hype it deserves. This is a perfect freshie with a little dash of sweetness in it. When you want to go to bed and you don't want to smell sweet and you don't really want to smell, per se, musky, you want to smell clean. You want to smell a little sweet. You want to smell like you did in, in fact, shower yourself after you showered and you want to keep that kind of vibe. Still is dear girl. A lot of people hype up, um, I don't hate this fragrance, I feel like I mentioned it a lot, and I do like it. Will I buy the original for myself? Probably never. But the, um, Chanel Chance Otange, like that clean girl aesthetic vibe, I feel like still falls under that category. But there's a pinch more, just a pinch more warmth to it, that I feel like that, that warmth is just nice for your bedtime. This is just, I just, on a regular, just want to smell clean fresh up like just that just that clean girl aesthetic vibe to my bed still by Jennifer Lopez is for you and it's uber affordable so if you intend to make this something that you wear more so on every day type of thing like let's just say still by Jennifer Lopez is your everyday going to my bed scent because it's so affordable just 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 you could do that um the poison girl eau de toilette you go to your bed knowing you want your partner maybe to sleep a little closer to you. Like, they're like, <laughs> or, or give you a little more attention because we just so um, lovely. You want to get that. You smell good, babe. You know you smell good. And you're like, mm -hmm, thanks. <laughs> and then this next one is giving in the sheets. You want the attention before you go to bed. Before you go to bed, you want a little shenanigans um playing about and that's fine nothing's wrong with the little bit that shenanigans and that it would be for me ariana grande's cloud i try not to get too expensive for your bed for your bedtime you don't want to be spending too much money this is that baccarat rouge 540 mixed with um gourmand aspect the original baccarat rouge 540 and some of the other dupes don't give as heavy as the gourmand in here i definitely get more of that whipped cream-esque on here so it just makes it thicker but nowadays i have been i'm gonna say for the past few months i have been getting that wispy baccarat rouge vibe sometimes too but it's sexy it's sexy it's very lovely it's very pretty it's um and it's affordable i didn't want to offer up baccarat rouge, baccarat rouge 540 or some of the other dupes because they're just cost more money um and i just feel like it's easier to go ahead and just this this was like 45 bucks it's the one fluid ounce you spend like 70 bucks or 65 bucks you get the big three point or whatever so oh it smells so good that whipped cream is definitely whipped creaming though so it's not as wispy airy cotton candy it does smell kind of like that but also whipped cream like it's it's yummy it's delicious it's dense a little it's a little airy it's a little it's definitely super sexy it's getting eat me it's giving come give me kisses nuzzle my neck and work here with your own and it's giving attention and you know men are gonna like this most men like i feel like the smell of this um because i feel like the average man likes a gourmand type of scent right um so i think this is gonna entice some and i think it's kind of cool like if you would have like sense if you were to bed right that like you know how some people are like oh if i wear my ratty clothes my ratty bedtime clothes my husband knows don't bother me or if i wear my sexy lingerie he knows i'm mm -mm. like if you have a scent that you know you want to mm -mm -mm, that's gonna bring a scent memory for both you and your partner and it's like mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> if that made any sense go ahead and hit that like button if it didn't just subscribe you're going to eventually start understanding the foolishness that come out around. I promise. The last thing I want to talk about is a little different from the rest. So this is Narciso Rodriguez's um, Poudre. Y'all, no one continually does musk the way Narciso does musk. I did think about adding Kayali's um musk 12 to this that would be a great bedtime scent and the price point is around the same as this anyway so you could go with that 
that is a more a little bit more of like a sweeter fresher scent of musk this poudre is a powdery touch of musk it's not giving body smell it's giving fresh clean this almost reminds me of like jamaica like when you take a shower over there and you pour it on yourself and you put on your clean clothes and you just smell nice and fresh you put them bottom don't touch the outside again you use inside for the count okay you have the outside clothes you have inside clothes that is what this is reminding me of and I know baby powder smells just sounds stupid, like, oh, that's, you smell like a child, but there's just something so nice about it. And almost sometimes luxe to me, like, you just smell so clean girl aesthetic, simplistic in the best way possible. Fresh and clean, powdery, touches of that natural musk smell that I was talking about. It's giving soft, gentle, okay? This could even be your scent of the night, most nights as well, because you only really need like one strong spray in like your center area, or maybe two sprays, one, two, and you're gonna smell it. This is, in my opinion, probably the strongest smell next to the Ariana Grande cloud. Um, you don't need a lot of sprays of this and you're gonna smell it the next morning. It's so perfect and fresh, but it is powdery. So if you don't like powdery scents, Narciso Rodriguez's Poudre is most definitely not for you. This is a fresher powder. Some of the other Narciso Rodriguez's are sweeter powders. This is more of a fresher, cleaner powdery. So if you don't have your AC in there, but it ends up being a warm night, you do not want to smell gourmand because you're just going to feel sticky. This is fresh and clean. It almost cools you down a little bit. Even if you have your AC on and you want to keep that because you keep your AC and it's cool out of your OC and for catch up underneath your, your comforter, this is going to keep that fresh and clean smell. I love it. It's giving I smell good. It's giving I clean myself and take care and groom myself properly. It's giving and grooming yourself properly and that is multiple different types of ways. But it's just... It's giving lovely. It's giving lovely, womanly, clean, adult. Anyone can wear any of these scents. I'm just telling you what I'm smelling. But it just smells perfection. And those are the five fragrances I would recommend to you for bedtime. I wanted to real quick before we finish this video out. I did release a book. So I just wanted to real quick talk about it. Because I was like, I mean, why not? It is called Want Me. And it is available on Amazon. It's un unlimited uh, Kindle Unlimited. It's for the Kindle book as well, as well as you can get it as an actual physical copy. This book is not for everybody, okay? This is a big people book. This is a... <laughs> in the book a few times, okay? This is also LGBTQ plus book. So if you don't like that, don't even bother. There is grown people scenes in here. This is a lovely book. I loved it. I'm really proud of myself. Go ahead and read it only if it's for you. If it's not for you, don't waste your time reading it and then giving a crappy review because you don't like what the book is about. You know what I mean? But this is what it looks like. This is the back of the book. And it's just a look a nice look a read. It's only um I think it's not that many pages. So it's like 180 in physical i think it's only 160 and the kindle so i think you could i mean i could read a book like this in an hour and a half maybe you could read it in like three four or five hours um but it could say it's a cute nice little read um so i just wanted to offer that up to you i will put the link if i remember in the description box below if i forget remind me and i'll drop it in there anyway thank you so much for watching this whole video if you liked don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button support your girl nay and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye bye <laughs>